search continues for a missing mother a and daughter. girl was tortured during conversion Self-help therapy. Group Nexium was exposed as a sex cult leader. Dogs caught in fraud. Their kids pay the price. What I'd like to say is that all of us experience trouble in our lives. I think that we only have to take a good look at our own lives and the lives of others to realize that bad things happen. I think if I could talk to each one of you, that you could tell me of things that have happened in your family. Somebody that's died, or some disease, or maybe a divorce. Many things. And even if we aren't having troubles at the present time, I think we can all agree that we will face trouble at some point in our lives. But what do we do? Like, what resources do we have to deal with the troubles of our lives? And how do we come through it when even the most ardent faith is challenged? It's hard to put into words what your support means to Mary and myself. It's been our calling to bring joy to all of you, to get to know you, to learn from you, and to share the word of God. And now we're being called again. And although we'll be away for some time, this will always be our home. Now, before we offer a final prayer, I know that Mary would like to say a few words too. Thank you, Irv. The Philippines is halfway around the world. People of a different culture, different ethnicity, but people who speak a same language, the word of God. And Irv and myself and our two children, Beth and Stephen, will carry that with us, our strength, to follow our calling on this missionary trip comes not just from the Lord, but from all of you. Oh, we Thanks will miss you. Write to us. Bye.